Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I kind of wanted to do a video that I just felt like doing. If you follow me for a while, I've been YouTubing for about five years now, I think, maybe a little longer. Over this time, I've sort of amassed a really great boot collection. I'm truly blessed to have all these boots that you see before you. And today I wanted to do my top 10 boot picks. I get the question quite often in my DMs and uh, I never have good answers for people. They ask me sporadically, hey, what's the one boot you'd keep? Hey, what's the top five boots of all time? What's your top 10? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my top 10 boot picks. Now this is a completely subjective video. And that said, I don't like making click baby videos. I kind of like to keep my content into the fringes of boot nerdery. That's why my content typically tends to be kind of longer. It typically tends to sort of get granular with the details. It might be kind of boring for most people, but, but that's kind of like where I like to keep it. I don't like to do like, oh, Red Wing, Iron Ranger versus whatever. Though the, that type of content is very useful and beneficial and needs to be done, absolutely. I just personally don't, never liked doing that type of content. Like, I like to stay in the weeds. I like to discuss topics that aren't discussed. Uh, th that's what really interests me. I like to explore. I kind of get bored covering, covering ground that's already been covered. That said, I do kind of owe it to my audience to do a top 10. So here we are, we're doing my top 10 boot picks. I have over 120 pairs of boots in my rotation. Might as well not call that a rotation anymore. It's more like a, uh, a sickness. <laughs> that said, I am trying to thin out the herd. On my website, dalesleatherworks.com, I do have a section for boots that I'm selling. And so you can check on that periodically. I will sporadically load boots onto there that I'm ready to part with. I will always sell them at a fair price. So check that out. Um, also check out my site. I sell a lot of kilties, cuffs. I do custom bags, uh, of which I have a few staple bags on there now that I plan to keep as like sort of uh, stock runs. That said, they will be built to order. So please allow four to six weeks for delivery on those. And then I also do insoles. Those have been a big hit. If you have any questions on insole sizing, please reach out to me. It is kind of tricky as my insoles do run small. I have sizes 40 to 48 now. So should cover most, most sizes. Gives you a good bump. Really helps the boot fit better if they're a little big. Let's get started into my top 10 picks. I am very excited. I'm not ranking these. Again, these are just the boots that I would grab if I could only choose 10. And this is to cover my own subjective choices, my own opinion, my own selfish wants and desires in a boot. All right. So first up, this is going to be the NYX Swashbuckler boot in Horween's natural wax flesh. These were designed by my buddy Angel at Nobleman's Apothecary. He's a great dude, a good friend of mine, and uh, he designed this makeup and I absolutely love it. We've got a nice Packer heel here. These are really heavy boots. These boots are overbuilt. These are more boot than any guy would ever need. These things are definitely Armageddon boots. They're very attractive. I love the silhouette on them and uh, these would go with most all my outfits and they're easy to wear and they're just super badass and I don't have to care about them. I've never conditioned them. You know, I, I've gone on about Horween leathers before. So we've got the waxed flesh version on the vamp and on the back heel stay. And then we've got the wax flesh smooth out on the quarter and the shaft panel. So super cool. The eyelets are super hardy. Just everything about this is super hardy. We've got a nobleman's apothecary uh, kilty in there. This is just a tremendous pair. I wish I could wear them more because my rotation is just so out of control right now. All right, next up, it's going to have to be the white MP service boot in olive waxed flesh. Just look at these. Part of the reason why I love these so much is because they're tall and they have that military look about them and they have this Cuban heel back here, thick veg tan. Yeah, two layers of very thick veg tan on the leather sole there. It's got a real good old world aesthetic about it. Good World War II service boot aesthetic about it. The eyelets are super hardy too. These won't cinch down. These are super hardy brass eyelets. I also threw in some rawhide laces from Guarded Goods in here. Just another super duper hardy pair of boots. Whites and Knicks make some of the hardiest boots out there. They're more boot than most guys need and these are easily in my top 10s. Next up, 
It's gonna be the Viberg Service Boot, my first pair of Vibergs on the 2030 last in Horween's Brown Chrome XL. Had these a really long time. These babies are so sweet. I still love them to this day. They're about a half size large on me. I should have gone with the size eights because they are built on an E-width, but definitely, I, I think I got these in 2014. Still love them to this day. Um, I've thought about replacing them with a size eights. So if you're interested, in, if you have this exact model in a size eight, you'd be interested in exchanging, let me know. <laughs> this is just an easy boot to love. Simple stitch down construction, 2030 last, very sleek, almondy, perfect brown chrome XL, medium brown color outfits. It, it goes with everything, needless to say. Rawhide laces, just, just a perfect build. Absolutely love these. Next up is going to be the Alden Vintage Indy, another pair that I've had for a really long time, but this is just such a versatile pair of boots. The True Balance Last, I'm super duper in love with that. Not to mention we've got Smooth Chamois on the upper, gives it a really amazing vintage look. I've worn these so many times and they're just so hardy and just beautiful. I just like them. I just love having them on. I'm an Indiana Jones fan. I really hope Indy 5 doesn't uh, shatter my hopes and dreams. It probably will. <laughs> they don't make movies like they used to, that's for sure. I originally had the Alden 405 on this list, but as I set the Alden 405 down, I, you know what? I said, it, it just doesn't feel right. I need the vintage Indy. I don't see why more shops don't do the vintage Indy, but um, it really is in my top 10. Really love this, love this boot. Next up is going to be a classic. The first pair of Grant Stones I ever owned, the Grant Stone Diesel boot in Dune Chrome XL. Natural Chrome XL is super versatile. This is a another just effortlessly easy boot to wear. So simple. Plain toe, beautiful Leo last, and uh, my favorite leather sole. Had my Cobbler, Cobbler Sunny, install some Triumph toe tips on there. These actually have some natural Chrome XL kilties from my buddy Jimmy, otherwise known as a Trinity Handmade, who designed these. Um, stay tuned because I actually have a die on order from Texas Dyes for this style of kilty. Uh, Jimmy passed the kilty making on to me. Soon I'll be offering this in all styles of kilties that I that I run, all leathers. I don't currently offer it because I have to hand cut and it's often uh, not super accurate and it's takes a lot of time so but with a die it'll be even and it'll be easy i'll offer it on my website dalesleatherworks.com first pair of grant stones this started a lovely journey with the grant stone brand this is my first pair and still in my top 10. all right next up is gonna be my truman boots in coach rambler this is an outstanding pair. I'm very disappointed in myself for not getting these sooner. Coach Rambler is such an amazing leather. Truman is really the only maker that runs it. They're really the maker that put Ramblers on the radar, at least for me. I love everything about this boot. It's so beautiful, it's so perfect. Everything I'd want in a boot. It's It's got smooth flesh, it's got rough flesh, it's got different colors coming through, it's got a nice soft tongue, it's got really hardy hardware. The hardy hardware is something that I have to commend Truman on and Nix and Whites because uh, a lot of a lot of makers like Alden, they use that those speed hooks that are kind of, uh, they're not as robust, they're not as thick, and they can bend down. Truman does not compromise on materials like that, and so Coach Rambler, it must be in my rotation, no questions about it. Not to mention, it just has such a gorgeous glow in the sunlight. It just, it's got that really nice bright orangey type glow that just you can see it from miles away i really really love this that's why when people ask me if they would what they would use to condition their rambler it's like don't condition the rambler like let this stuff ride you know stead does such a good job treating the hides at the tannery that there's really no reason to go darkening it up in my opinion i really like to see this stuff ride see how it looks in the in the long run all right next up are going to be willie's logger boots in olive Badalassi Veg Tan. This pair, every single time I post these, they get so many likes, and this is one of those pairs that's just lightning in a bottle. Willie's managed to capture it, and he captured it perfectly, and uh, this is just a makeup that everything about the build just comes together perfectly. It's, a, it's truly a zenith boot in the color, and the last, and the patterning, the model, 
and the uh, the lug commando sole, the welting, the veg tan insoles, it just comes together in such an attractive boot. These were a little big, I had to throw some of my insoles in there, but now that I did, they fit perfectly. Super duper in love with this pair. These are definitely community approved as well. Willie's definitely in my top 10. Next up, these are going to be my Renav Goods Engineer Boots in brown shinky oiled horse hide. This is a horse hide that T-cores over time, and as you can see, it's just T-cored up beautifully. I plan to do an update video on these here soon. This is another Zenith pair that just came together amazingly. I'm really happy that I helped develop out this last through Renav Goods. This is another pair. It's just, it's a dream come true, both in terms of aesthetic, the look. We've got an eight inch tall shaft here. The shinky horse butt is just unreal. It's unreal. It's perfectly stiff. It's, it's perfectly supple where it needs to be. It bends and creases. It just shows its wear so dramatically. And I love everything about the way this boot is patinating. I took these on a trip to Puerto Rico recently, hiked through some rainforest in them, really got a good patina going on. Super duper happy with these. These are definitely in my top 10. Renav Goods Brown Oiled Shinky Horse Butt Engineer. Next up is going to be the Grant Stone Brass Boot in Maduro Shell Cordovan. This is a perfect boot for all intents and purposes. This is a boot, the fit is so good. The look is so good. It's in a rare shell color that is, you know, pretty hard to get your hands on. Doesn't come around every day. This is an all around one and done boot. Commando sole, mock toe, rugged, rugged as hell. I took these with me on my trip to Alaska and went on several hikes in them and they performed wonderfully. And they're just a perfect hiking boot, lifestyle boot. Obviously Shell Cordovan is a highly, highly sought after leather. I really love the folks at Grant Stone. They're really doing a great thing with footwear and making them affordable. Speaking of these brass boots in Maduro Shell Cordovan, I actually wore them to a Grant Stone meet and greet event recently, and it was just a phenomenal time. It was a dream come true for me. All the legends were there. Ali from the Vintage Feather, Ticho Blanco, Wyatt Gilmore, Giovanni, Jake of Almost Vintage Style, Ben from Stitchdown, first time seeing him in person, Ticho is super nice in person as well. Really enjoyed hanging out with all of them. Nick from Stridewise was there. He is an absolute party animal, and I mean that in the best ways possible. Getting to meet these people face to face, they're all just so amazing. Super good people, super friendly. I had the, the best time ever with them. It was such a good time. Everybody wore Grant Stones. We got to peruse some of the upcoming releases, including some marbled shell. And also, most excitedly for me, was seeing their Garrison boot, which is gonna be a cap toe model, a perforated cap toe boot. Just an outstanding event. Special thanks to Wyatt for inviting me. It was a great moment for me, meeting all these people that I've followed for so many years who are near and dear to my heart and getting to see them in person. It was, it was something really special. Anyways, continuing on with the video, these were the Grant Stone Brass Boot Maduro Shell. Definitely in my top 10. All right, next up is gonna be my Truman Boot in Stone Rambler. I said it in the video and my thoughts on this still run true. Uh, this is everything I've ever wanted in a boot. I know a lot of guys would really like Java Wax Flesh to be in their top 10 and for good reason, but for me, I prefer the Stone Rambler. It's it's still got that nice dark aesthetic. The Rambler just has so much character. I really, really love Stead Rambler and the way that this whole thing just came together. Just such a beautiful, earthy color profile about it. Stone is such a good name for it and that Lug Commando sole, that Goodyear welt with a Storm welt. I really feel like these are me. I really feel comfortable in these with doing all earthy tones. Rambler has a really nice sort of stiff temper about it, really holds up very nicely. So for that reason, the Coach and the Stone Rambler Trumans are definitely in my top 10 picks, no doubt about it. And if you wanted some Truman boots in Stone Rambler, you are in luck because yesterday, June 23rd, they just released. They have a new fresh batch in stock, ready to ship. I, I heard also that they're restocking the Coach very soon as well. All right, next up, it's gonna be my Viberg boots on the 2040 last in brown shinky oiled horse butt. That's right, two different makeups in this video are in brown oiled shinky 
horse butt. The reason being is because this really might be one of my favorite leathers, period. I love Rambler, I love Shell, I love Chrome XL, I love waxed flesh, but this Shinky horse butt from J Japan, it's super rare, and the Japanese are really doing something unique with their horse hide. It starts out just super opulent, but it is delicate. It's kind of like how French make their macaroons, right? They crumble easily, they're not overly sweet, they're just like that perfect sort of sort of concoction where the process to make it is delicate and they're beautiful when they're ready to be eaten, but then uh, they get messed up very easily. It's kind of what Shinky does. Uh, they, they produce some of the most refined horse butts on the planet, and yet at the same time you see how it t cores and patinates so beautifully and so quickly. Not to mention the 2040 last. Great, great fit for my foot. I love that rounded out last. Still on an E width and that perforated cap toe. Everything about this makeup is just stunning. And for that reason, these are definitely in my top 10. These picks are in no particular order, by the way. I don't have a number one, but these are just the boots that I definitely can't do without in my rotation. And uh, so as an honorary runner up, we've got the Yunkerd service boot in bourbon shell cordovan. Horween Bourbon Shell. I really love the chain stitch welt around here and just another grail pair of boots. Just another pair of boots that will go with everything. They fit me really good. Bourbon is a rare color. We've got a leather sole. Just a beautiful, beautiful aesthetic. For that reason, these are an honorable mention in my top 10. They didn't quite make the top 10, but these could easily be a one and done boot for me. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 boots video. What did you guys think? What boots would you have liked to seen in this list? Which boot is your favorite? I said it was gonna be a top 10. It was actually sort of more like a top 12. I, I guess it's the top 10% of my collection since I have 120. So 12 is just gonna have to do for now. It gets really hard. In fact, I wouldn't wanna part with the top 70% of my collection, to be honest. So many good boots in this lineup. And uh, yeah, very hard decision. I thought about this for a long time, which would make it to my top 10, top 10%. 10%. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let's keep the love of boots alive. I'll see y'all in my next video.